let me show you how to an attach an assignment in Google Classroom for each of your students to receive an individual one. So we're going to go over to Classwork and click Create. And this time it's an assignment. We're going to give it a title. Personal versus private. Um, a lot of times people like to number assignments. Um, that's up to you. you. You should come up with some kind of strategy for how you want or a, you need a, a certain format so that it's always the same. Uh, let's attach using this button and it's something that lives in my Google Drive. If it's not, if I just wanted to upload it from my computer, I could click file um, and f drag it over here. But it is something I've recently worked on in my drive. So when I click on drive and it defaults to recent here, there it is. It's this worksheet that students are going to, um, when they open it, answer some questions and drag some things into two different columns. So before I assign it though, you can see if I leave it at this, every kid is going to be looking at one page. But when I use this drop down arrow, you want to make a copy for every student. Don't pick the second one because that means every kid in the class is going to be working on that one page and you're going to see chaos <laughs> unless it's a group activity that you want them all to be together in. Um, but this is the one that uh, is when you're assigning uh, something for every kid in the class to have their own. Over here, um, you can assign it to different classes you might teach, but for elementary people, it's probably just the one. And again, for differentiation, you could send it only to a few students or everybody. You can decide to grade it or leave it ungraded. Um, you can change the point value to uh, one, two, or three, there? which was what we are transitioning to at KISS for standards. Um, but uh, let's just leave it ungraded. You can have a due date. Uh, let's pretend we're going to put a due date here of, oh, whoops, um, March 27th. And I think we're ready to assign. You can give directions here as well, but I have directions within the document. So I am going to hit assign. And, ah, see how it ended up? This is a good example of, it's kind of not within any of my main uh, topic areas and it's just sitting by itself. So I'm gonna go in and edit that again. And I'm gonna make sure I've chosen a topic for it to go under. And since it's a home lesson, um, private versus personal, home lesson, save. So here it is. Oh, I called it number two. Again, see I have one, two media balance. Um, let me go in and edit that again. So I do this frequently. <laughs> this is nothing new to me. I'm always refining things once I post them and hitting save. So there it is. It's three. Now, I could want them to always have um, the most recent up top, even though it's the numbers are reversed or I could move them so that they're numerically in order, however you want it to appear to students. So that dragging and dropping is what um, works. So uh, that is how you create an assignment. Our next video will talk about um, grading it. All right, so let's stop here.